Hey guys, what's going on? I'm shooting a video. Um, it's a little bit different. If you see, actually, you can't really see anything. It's actually pretty good. Actually, I lean back and you can see stuff. <laughs> anyways, um, kind of a different way to shoot a video. Um, so I did check out a movie, and I was going to do a movie review of it. My teeth are getting a little crazy, so if I sound a little weird, that's why. Anyways. I checked out A Million Ways to Die in the West. Um, this is the family guy, dude. That I'm pretty sure he, and my kids are gonna walk into the room. Um, but, hi, Cashy. Uh, and I checked out the movie yesterday. And, ah. And it was really actually not bad. But I can understand why it didn't get as much popularity as it should have um so i wasn't a huge fan of it but i can understand why uh it wasn't super popular what you watched the movie with me too it wasn't age appropriate for you but you did watch it <laughs> um but it was had a lot of adult jokes that kids should not watch. So if you ever watch this, if you ever watch this with, uh, if you ever watch this with your with your kids, it's not really appropriate. A lot of a lot of adult joke, and I'm not stop talking about like bad words. And I'm talking about like sexual innu innuendos and stuff like that, and like bad comments that would go along with that kind of thing. Um, but all in all, it, it's not a movie I would buy. It's probably a movie I'm going to watch once, <laughs> drink a beer, you know, be happy with the experience of watching it and have fun with it. And <laughs> yeah, it, it, and, and folks, this is why it's hard for me to make videos. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> The movie was pretty good. Um, like I said, not the rewatchability factor on it. I don't think it's super high. I mean, I think you could probably buy it and have fun with it, watching it again uh, numerous times. But to me, it's something that you're going to watch and not really get into it too much because the humor is kind of way out there. And I think it works for cartoons, but in a movie setting, it doesn't really work. And you can tell that he was trying to do the same things he did with Family Guy in this movie. And it didn't quite work. <laughs> so uh, maybe he'll stick to cartoons and, and stuff like that. Which I thought he did come up with a new cartoon recently. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Or was it there like a short... I don't know. Wasn't there something that came out that was uh, not Family Guy and not American Dad? I thought he came out with something else uh, that was kind of cartoon related, I thought. I could be wrong. Who knows? I could be talking out my butthole. Uh, but anyway, I saw a million ways to die in the West. I, it's been a while. I checked it out on YouTube TV. Um, that may be a video I do here, here in the future because I'm not hearing anybody talk about YouTube TV hey. as a viable option. Sorry, hey. headphone, sorry, headphone users. My son just blew out your eardrum. Hey. What? You went up here? Come here. Okay. Hey. Hi. He's talking to you guys. Anyways, um, so, so like I said, mama. mama, that's not mama. We're making a video. You're gonna be in the video, and then ten years from now, I'm gonna show you this video. And you're acting goofy. In. Um, but yes, the movie was pretty good, but I wouldn't recommend it as a you know like a to hold in your library unless you're a big Family Guy fan. Then maybe it's something to hold in, hold on to because he did. I'm pretty sure he had a lot to do with this movie, or he was executive producer or something in this movie um but yeah that's my review like i said it's worth a watch but it's not worth <sighs> really holding dear to your heart is a great movie you know to have in your collection uh so with that being said like i said it's something it's, it's something it's okay it's okay uh it's pretty much so, so the story is pretty much um he, he's a bad sheep sheep herder and <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of funny stuff in this movie, uh, but you know, 
as soon as I, I'm not spoiling a lot of stuff, but once um, you kind of get the gist, there's going to be a love interest in the movie. It, um, <laughs> I, um, it kind of, you're like, oh, uh, they're going down this direction. Um, so it, it kind of, I think kind of ruined it for me a little bit because I'm like, man, he could have made such a great movie if he just wouldn't have done this. And I kind of don't like the plot they went down with the robbers. And that's all I'm going to say, spoiler-wise. Wise. Um, but like I said, in the end, it was a fun movie. And that's all it really is. It's a, it's a fun popcorn movie you can watch and chill and, 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 have, and laugh at. And there's a lot of like fart jokes and, and like I said, that's of course that's a family guy kind of thing uh, that he did in this movie. Um, hey. <laughs> yeah, yay! Um, so, with that being said, I I give it a high review, sort of, but I don't know. Like some people say, I'm the king of talking about nothing, and this video really doesn't have it. he's trying to steal the remotes you see that did you get that on video i did get that on video you tried to steal the remotes what here's your juice here you go um but yeah the like i said i watched the movie and i was excited because i knew i had a lot of funny things on the commercials that i wanted to watch um and you know i was entertained neil patrick harris is in it um, the dude from My Name is Earl, not the main character, the dude that was, uh, um, like his, the, the slick person, like he did a lot of con artist stuff, I can't remember what his name was, but he was in this movie, um, the girl that's really dirty, dirty, dirty minded, and, and if you hear that, my son's yelling in the background, yelling obscenities at Fortnite, anyways, um, but yeah, I don't have anything else to say really. Uh, but there's a chick that talks really, like cusses all the time. She's on Comedy Central. Uh, I can't remember her name. It was black hair. I have no idea. Somebody will probably comment down below and let me, let me know who that is. But she was in it. She was okay. I'm not a huge fan of her comedy, but she kind of toned it down for this. She was. She didn't usually. She had some funny stuff, and it wasn't like way out left side like she usually does in her comedy stuff. That I'm not a usually huge huge fan of. But I think Seth Seth MacFarlane. That's his name. Um, he kept this under wraps and he really kept people, I think, on their lines. And there was a couple points where the story kind of lagged and they said some stupid jokes that didn't really make much sense. Kind of like some Family Guy episodes recently uh, that, you know, just kind of just losing its flavor a little bit, seems like. Um, sometimes I think he goes in a direction where he should have went this way and he went this way instead. So it happens in the movie as well. Uh, but anyways, like, comment, subscribe. All that good jazz. Hope you guys like the review. And uh, I'll try and do a review here shortly. Probably do a couple more today. Uh, I'm going to try and take a walk and review some later on. We'll see how, how that goes. Uh, if not, I'll shoot one tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. All that good jazz. I'll catch you guys later. Keep rocking. And keep on watching movies. Later.